How's it going guys? Caleb Westhead here with Clam and today I'm here to show you the new Clam Predator. This is a multi-function set line device that's designed for both automatic hook setting capabilities and flag signaling capabilities. So the Predator is actually a multi-function ice fishing device and it uses two different triggers to both set up as an automatic hook setting device and a flag signaling device. Now make sure to check your local regulations. The automatic setting is legal in most states, but we did make it very easy to just leave one trigger on that so that you can use it in the states where it's not legal to use the automatic setting and only the flag setting. So this is what the Clam Predator looks like in the stowed position. And to deploy this, it's very simple. We're just gonna loosen this knob right here and grab each arm and pull apart. And it basically self-deploys and you can slide this to whatever length you want it for based on your rod that you're using and the rod length. Then you just tighten that knob back down. Now it's nice and solid. Everything is good to go to set that on the ice. You got these ice spikes anchoring it in place and then you've got the trigger held up off the ice and snow to make sure that that doesn't get any snow or water on it and freeze. Then you simply remove the Velcro from the flag and you're ready to set your rod up. So let's actually get into how the Predator works. First of all, we've got a rod holder. Once we get this thing deployed, you're gonna put your rod into the rod holder. And we've obviously got two triggers on here. We'll go over the flag trigger first. So for the flag trigger, we're gonna actually set the flag first. We're gonna bend the flag down. We're gonna slide it underneath that piece right there. And then we'll pull the trigger up and into position. We can actually slide it into the lock position so it's not gonna pop up on us. Then we're gonna take our line that's already baited, drop it down the hole. And then we simply slide the line into this line holder here. It's just basically a piece of rubber with a slit and that's gonna hold the line in place. Then we're gonna slide our trigger mechanism down into the position we want it to be in for this application, whether that's super light for a light bait or back further so it's heavier to hold a larger bait. And then we're just simply going to drape our line over that trigger. And now that line's down there with the bait on it. When a fish grabs it, it's gonna pull that trigger down and that fish can swim away with the line. You can have your bail open, you can have the drag set light, or you can use a bait feeder, it's totally up to you. But uh, it, even with your bail open, this will still work because the tension is actually coming from that little rubber piece, and that's what's gonna trip the trigger, not necessarily the tension on the line. So you can have this set up super, super finessey for those really finicky fish. Now to swap these triggers out, it's just one pin on each trigger, pull that trigger off, Pull that trigger off, swap them. Only takes about 10 seconds. And now we are fully functioning automatic um, hook setter. So for this, we're actually gonna hook the rod up to the trigger first. So we're gonna bend this rod down. We're gonna slide the, the first eye of the rod into that hook right there and then Put our trigger up in position and again we want to slide that back into the lock position so that can't pop back at us until we're done setting up and now we just slide our flag all the way under that trigger right there now again we're ready to slide our trigger into position for a light or heavy bite we're going to set it to medium right about there and now we drape our line over the trigger again and now it's set up to actually set the hook on that fish. So when the fish swims away, bam, he's hooked. Now he's just gonna fight that rod, fight the drag until you can get there. And again, that flag signals the bite so you can see it a long ways off. All right, let's talk rods, reels, and line for the Predator. First of all, let's talk about the automatic setting. When you have an automatic hook setting device deployed, you want the rod to be fiberglass, first of all. A graphite rod has a tendency to snap if it's bent in that position for too long. So you definitely want a fiberglass rod and you want a slow action rod that's gonna load up across the whole blank evenly. So when that rod snaps, it's got a lot of juice to it and then it holds that fish really well and absorbs those big head shakes. So that's the kind of rod that you wanna use with the automatic setting. As far as a reel, 
Uh, you can use any reel that you like for ice fishing that has a good drag. That, that's pretty much the main requirement. It has to have a good drag because if you hook a big fish, you're not around to adjust that drag. So they're just gonna pull line and you wanna make sure that that drag's working really well. Uh, as far as the line goes, you can use whatever line you're comfortable with. For an automatic hook setter, you may wanna go maybe a couple pound test sizes higher because of that snap just to be safe. I like to use eight pound mono for general purpose. That's a great size for me um, that I've used on my automatics in the past. And that's where I would start. As far as a rod reel and line setup for the flag setting, um, I've, the same exact rod will definitely work because you're not having to feel that bite. You're not necessarily looking for a rod that's gonna be super sensitive. You want a rod that's gonna load up and hold that fish. So the same rod that you use for automatic setting will certainly work, but you can also use whatever rod you really like to use, whether it's a dead stick rod, a jigging rod, any rod will work for that purpose. Um, again, for a reel, a lot of guys like to use a bait feeder because they can flip that switch a fish can take line and not feel the drag and then you flip the switch and you're all set up to hammer that fish. Uh, the other option, like I said, is you can simply leave the bale open and let the fish take the line. Uh, that's certainly an option. Or you can loosen your drag up super light, let them pull that drag out, and then when you get there, tighten it down and set the hook. So some of the reasons that I would choose this design over any other for a set line are number one, obviously the versatility. The versatility is unmatched. You have two triggers, you can switch back and forth between two completely different functions and they both work in different ways. And you have one unit that you can bring on the ice, super efficient. Another reason to use this tip up is on automatic setting, you have a very unique trigger system that works flawlessly in all conditions. And it's also got that locking capability so that when you have that rod bent down and locked in place, it will actually not be a danger to yourself if you happen to bump that trigger and that rod comes flying back. This protects you from that situation. Another great reason to use this particular device is because it's so easy to set up and deploy and take down. It's just one knob, pop it together, one knob, open it up, set it in place, and it's ready to rock and roll. So the Predator is also a beefy unit. It's very well built. It's made to withstand all the pressure that ice anglers are gonna put on their equipment out on the ice. These will literally catch any species of fish you can ice fish for. It just depends on how you set them up, set the rod up. But the great thing about this is it's so versatile. I can literally set this up as just the flag setting for a big pike bait and let them run with that bait, take the bait, and then say it starts getting dark in the evening, I wanna reset it for walleyes, I can set it super light with just a little fat head on there. Walleye comes through, grabs that thing, and it's a totally different use. And then if I wanna use it, say the next day for panfish, I can put it on the automatic setting, drop a little crappie minnow down there, set it ultra, ultra light, and it'll, it'll catch a limit of crappies in no time. It's, as long as they're biting minnows, this thing will almost set the hook better than you can. So when you're ready to pack up the Predator, we're just reversing the steps we use to deploy it. Turn the knob, slide that in, close it up, tighten it down. And then there's two options for the flag. You can either fold it down and Velcro it in place, or you can actually remove the flag and just set it in your bag or your bucket next to it. And that makes it a little bit tighter package. So that's it, that's the Predator guys. It's a super fun way to put set lines out on the ice. It's become my favorite way to fish set lines for sure. And I think you'll have a blast using it this season. So make sure you give it a try.